A good argument can be made that Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, is the most overdone statue in the world. I mean, I myself have owned one or two. Now, while some of those were a little bit of a variation, there were quite a few that were true Bruce Wayne, Batman as we know him. And the reason I've owned so many is I'm trying to find the best one. Same reason I drink so many different types of beer. As the Extreme channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey guys, my name is Mr. X, you're watching the Extreme Channel, and today we are looking at a custom one-third scale Batman statue. As I said in the intro, I've been looking for the best one ever, and stay tuned, this may be it. Or it may not be. You'll have to watch the entire video to find out. But anyway, so here I have in front of me a custom means it's a private unlicensed commission. They only made 25 of these. And we're going to go over all the traditional review categories today, but I'm going to tell you one of the reasons that makes this amazing is it has more switch out options than sexual positions your mom will do with me. I almost wish I had two or three of these, but that's almost impossible because they only made 25. But I'm a big fan of this. One question is, does it beat Prime One Studios' Batman Hush? And make sure you've not only liked this video, but you sub to the channel and hit that bell notification because I am actually going to do a comparison video later in the month. But for today, we're going to focus just on this guy. Now, what's really interesting is, like I said, it's a custom private unlicensed commission. Warner Brothers didn't sign off on this. However, all the other one-third scale Batman pieces I have are all by Prime One Studio, who is pretty hard to beat, especially in that arena. That's kind of their bread and butter, so to say. So this is called The Cave because he's in his cave. He's called Batman because, I don't know. That was always weird to me. I mean, I know Batman's been around since before I was alive. I'm not really afraid of bats, but you would think if you wanted to be menacing, you'd pick some kind of creature that everyone's afraid of, like Lion Man or Bear Man. Of course, when I get really drunk, sometimes I put jello all over myself, and I'm the Bear Man running down the streets with the cops chasing me. You know, if I was a billionaire, I would do that all the time. Thanks for that extra special glimpse in your life, Mr. X. Get to the damn statue. So uh, let's jump back into this guy. But again, I'm really impressed on every single level. They really knocked it out of the park. And this is probably going to be a long review. And what I want to do is I'm going to make it longer and wait for him to turn around and face you guys again. Drink my soda. Coke Zero. It's good shit. Oh. <laughs> do, 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 do. He's almost there. If this is taking you off, uh, you'd know you can fast forward it. But I'm going to do something really cool, so don't fast forward it too much. Now, I would say this is his front, but technically it's not, and we'll talk about that during design, but we've waited long enough. Let's take a look at the concept of this Batman. While it's not incredibly unique, because we've seen Batmans in the Batcave before, I really like some of the stuff they did. On the bottom, you have the higher technology part of the Batcave. So obviously the platforms he built, there's a little bit of circuitry and some light-up features we're going to look at, but it's surrounded by the stalagmites. So those are actually these cone-shaped rocks actually going up into points. I really like that. And the paint and sculpt, which we're going to talk about, complements it really well. Batman's standing there in a museum pose. Now, as a spoiler, we'll talk more about it later. This was actually available in quarter scale as well. And that one was a little bit different, but still a lot of the same concept. And kind of like that Batman hush we're going to look at, he has bats all over. 
They're flying around the Bat Cave. And again, there's some different display options. I know I keep saying that, but it's going to blow your mind how many different display options we'll talk about during design. And he's looking off to his right. More of a design thing we'll talk about. So I don't know what's over there. Maybe there's some, you know, porn on TV, or maybe Catwoman is getting naked over there. But he's really interested in what's going on. Or that's actually where my bar is. Maybe he's looking at all that stuff. But uh, very serious. Different display options really don't change the concept. But I like it because it's quintessential Batman. I think the only negative when it comes to the concept is he's in the black suit, where to me the quintessential Batman is in the blue suit. Although I think the black suit does look cooler. So... With that being said, I think the concept's awesome. It could have been a 5 out of 5 if we had, you know, like some back computers or something like that, or the blue suit as an option. But it's still a very strong 4 out of 5. One could definitely think there could be an argument for a 5 out of 5. Well, 5 out of 5 doesn't mean it's perfect. It's pretty fucking good. All right, now let's talk about the design. Before I do that, let's measure him. All right, so the diameter of the base varies a little bit because some of the stalagmites come out a little farther. But it's... It's about 18 inches or so, give or take. He stands approximately just under 30 inches tall. And before we look at all the different display options, here is the unboxing and assembly. Now, instead of doing multiple boxes, they did one giant box. And I hate that because not only is shipping so expensive, but they always seem to damage it. Now, thankfully, not much damage to the statue. There was just some things on his belt that broke off, but there were clean breaks, two-second fix. So three different layers in the black foam. You can see them right here because there are so many pieces as we keep talking about over and over. Alright, I'm going to try and keep track of all these different display options. First, let's just break it down, talk about the portraits. So many different portraits, and before we dive into that, he's looking right in all them. So how you display it, in theory, maybe like this, where he's facing forward. Maybe a little bit like this. This, which I feel like this is the front of the base, doesn't make sense. Like I said, he'll be staring at the statue next to him. So I really don't like that. So I think that's a little bit of a negative. The other negative you see, he shakes a little bit. While he does key in, they probably should have made it a little bit longer. I'm not worried about him falling over, but he does have a little bit of shakiness to him. But here are the display options with the portraits. So first one with short bat ears, he's looking to the left. Very serious face. Similar to that, a little bit different bat ears, different cow costume, and a little bit of a frowny face. An unmasked portrait, or uncowled portrait, if you will. One with the long bat ears, which I know I think the, this is the creator's favorite. And then one again, once again, with the shorter bat ears. A little bit different variation again. And this one, he doesn't really have any stubble. The last two, he didn't wear this one that I have displayed. He does. His right arm is hanging down to the side. And in that hanging down, you can have the grappling gun, which is my favorite. You can have a fist. You can have a hand where he holds some pretty cool batarangs. Or one where it's just hanging down. The left hand, you can hang down, and hanging down, he can have a fist as well. Or the hand just hanging. Or there's a switch out arm where he's kind of grabbing his belt. There are two different emblems. A total black one, which I usually like, but I like this other yellow one better. Three different cape options. First, no cape. Still looks good. 
Second, a fabric cape, which usually I, I like to go with sculpted, although this fabric cape is really nice. And then third is sculpted cape. There is a light up feature on the base too. And one thing you'll see that I did here, I put those batterings, since he's not holding them, I put them on the base. Maybe I can try and uh, have them up against a stalagmite somewhere. But here's the light up feature, a few different shots of it. It's not super bright, but it's definitely cool. And they did have a six foot cord with this, which I think is genius. Usually it's three feet cord. So unbelievable amount of display options, but wait, there's more. You can actually change the bats. And I don't mean take them off, but put them in different positions. That's too complicated for me, but I'm sure it's fantastic. So, wow, this may have the most display options I have ever seen on a statue. And I probably had over 500 on this table. Now, really, the only issues with the design, like I talked about, are he's a little wobbly, but he's not going to fall, so I really can't discount that. He's looking to the right. I wish they would have made some portraits of him looking forward. But even with that, I do have to give the design a 5 out of 5. How awesome is it that there are so many options? And remember I said this came in quarter scale. So with quarter scale, they actually had a different torso where he was like putting on his gloves. I think that's really neat too. And I know they are debating making some display holders for the extra heads. I'm probably not going to get that. They're very similar. I'm not a Batman purist, so I don't even know which artist did which head. Bravo on the design. Paint and sculpt, I really like it. They did a fantastic job in my opinion. While Prime 1 is probably a little bit better, I wouldn't give them a huge edge. But here's some video. All right, so I have a lot of light on him. And I'm not going to look at all the different portraits. They're, they're pretty similar. But I will take a look at the unmasked one. So it looks good. Uh, very serious Bruce Wayne. I would like to see a little bit more stubble on him. And maybe a little bit more... Um, I don't know, maybe skinnier cheeks, but I love how the hair flows. It's kind of the same haircut as me, but uh, looks great. Uh, the eyes are decals, I believe, but there's good looking decals. Even look how the sculpt and paint of the eyebrows are. So I like that there's streaks of brown and black in his hair. This strand's a little questionable, but great skin color on this. I think it looks fantastic. I love a lot of parts of this. You're gonna see not only the base down here, um, it's kind of that worn color, and then you can see it's a grate, and there's even water on the inside. It's a clear resin that is amazing. So many Easter eggs, but I really like how that's worn, because if it was in a true cave, I think you would see that. And you're gonna see a lot of wear on like his uh, belt over here. I think that's fantastic. You can see the bright light shining off of it. And, they did a great job with, you know, you see little rivets in there, all the detail from the sculpt, and then that paint just really accentuates it. I love these stalagmites. Remember, mites come from the bottom, tights from the top. They have that glistening water effect as they really would in a cave. I think that's really impressive. And I don't know why the lights are so bright on this particular statue. The bats look good. Uh, they are made out of PVC, so they're lighter, so little bit harder. They don't look toyish, but you can definitely tell that they are a, um, uh, not like a polystone sculpted material, but even look at the detail right here. I'm going to switch these lights off really quick so you can see them without the lights as well. So it actually didn't help really much. I apologize for that. But anyway, uh, check out the detail on his boots. Everything is fully sculpted other than that mixed media cape. So much detail, whether it's a texturized pattern running up and down his leg and into his boot to the buckles, uh, kind of this um, shin guards on the back, the nice tread on the bottom. Now, even though it's mostly black, I think they did a great job with the anatomy. You know, the truth about this statue, it's so realistic. So it's not um, overlor, overlor, over, overly muscularized. You can still see his anatomy beneath the body armor. And then like we talked about, look at the wear, the scratches on his utility belt. Really impressive, the pads on his gloves. And I love the dull shine of this because it's seen many, many battles. And then even like, look at the Batman symbol. They went in and out with the uh, yellow color, more prevalent, almost an orange on the outside. Very clean around the bat symbol. Do a quick take of the cape here. The cape looks fine. And then a cowled portrait will look at this. So they did a nice job 
showing his expression through the cowl, I think that's key. And very similar comments to the mouth. Here they do have a little bit of painted in stubble. So overall, amazing on both the paint and sculpt. While I do usually give Prime One a little bit higher notch, this is hard to beat as well. All right, paint, I love it. Like I said, I'm really impressed with the base and how everything flows together. Pretty clean in my opinion. I, I like a lot of the stuff they did. It just adds that wear and realism to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the paint a five out of five. I am that impressed. Sculpt, again, there's so much realism on this. It's like what he would look like in real life. I love that they did that. I have to give it a five out of five as well. But, and, I, and as a disclaimer, I do think some Prime One Studio pieces are better. So five out of five isn't perfect or the best. It's just wow. All right, value on this. This is one of the best values of any statue for so many different reasons. This has been a work in progress for a long time. And I believe it was one of the first projects of this custom studio. Now because of that, they had a lower price point to attract people. They also usually traditionally do like an early bird. Again, an incentive to buy it early. So the early bird was $1,000 for this, which blows my mind. Now keep in mind, you do have to pay a lot for shipping. You saw how big the box was. I think that was like another $400, maybe 500 C shipping. But still, that's cheaper than a Prime One Studio who's mass produced and they only made 25 of these. I love this so much, I will probably never sell it. I don't know if it beats Batman Hush, so stay tuned for that comparison video. But I think the value is a five out of five. This is fantastic. You get so much for the price you paid without a doubt. Does this have the X Factor? Is this a five out of five statue? Of all those Batman statues I owned, he's definitely near the top. Is he the best? We'll find out, but I think he's a five out of five for sure. He has the X factor, very impressive. He just keeps staring at my beer, which is pissing me off. What do you guys think? Am I dick riding him too much? Let me know in the comments below, and don't talk too much about my dick because it'll get censored. But uh, I love to hear your opinions, and uh, maybe I need a dose of reality. We will be giving all of these statues away, plus additional ones, at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Thank you to the producer of this. I'm so excited to have it. Definitely worth the wait. You rarely disappoint, except that one night, drunken in Vegas. But uh, hey, leave a comment below and give a like for this statue, if not for me. I was in a weird mood today.